Hello, today we're going to do a way of dividing the image up into a jigsaw puzzle of pieces uh, that we can edit separately. So we're going to start off with the lighthouse here, have the, the selection brush on add and with snap to edges and we're just going to quickly paint down here. I can only do this very roughly just to show you the idea of this. And that's all I'm going to do for that for now. Normally I'd zoom in close and, and figure out. So I'll just do a refine on that. And then with the, let's bring up this so you can see this. Here we go. It just appears in another window on another screen. So I'm just going to paint that. There we go. And I'll paint this. There we go. So let me figure that one out. OK, let's just call it that and we'll say apply. That gives us the thing here. Now we can just get just a little technique on this is that if the refine doesn't pick up something, you can always go in afterwards with this, take off the snap ed to edges and you can paint in those things that the refines finding difficult to do. So I can put in this, for example, manually. And I can also take out bits like the chap here and this bit around here. And so on, and just a little bit of that. OK. So Control-0 to zoom out again. And we've got the lighthouse selected. So what we're going to do here is going to, in the channels panel, we're going to put it down here. We're going to save the selection. And the way we do this, we've already got a picture here. So if you right click on this, say create spare channel, it takes a copy of that selection, which you can see with a little white area there. So right click on that, rename that to light house. And we come back to that again. So control D to get rid of the selection. Put on the snap to edges again. We're going to select the foreground, increase the size of the brush with the right square bracket. And we can paint all around here to get this area in under here. And oops, let's not click that. And the lighthouse doesn't matter. And you'll see why before long. Let's go around the edge of this roughly. There we go. And take out this. And that one too, roughly. There we go. That's about enough. Of it. Let's just go into the edge of this and say we've got the people there. That'll do. All we want is the upper edge of this. That person's head. And all this across here, let's take off that, alt click that there. How does that can do if I click on that in there? Alt click on that, that'll do. And just the spaces here, alt click. Oops, we haven't got that. Let's click on that across there. So we've got this and then put their heads in. Then alt click in here to fill in this space. That'll do for now and we'll then control zero to go out and we refine this. Okay, so we may need a bit of painting on here so we're going to zoom into this. Look at what it's selected here. That's okay there. Let's go down and see if we can paint in those areas there. And this is OK here. We won't worry about that too much. Um, and let's see if we can figure out that bit there. OK. We need bits in there, that'll do. And say we're just going quickly over this rather than worrying too much. Just to see the sort of thing we're doing. There we go. The refine is remarkably good at figuring out edges here. Oh, I'll have to redo these people. But I'm going to do that afterwards. 
because it can be a bit confused by that. There we go, see how well I figured that one out and go down here and let's say clicking the rest is paint up here. See how much they can figure out that the people are there. See it's not very good at that is it? Let's try this over here. Let's figure that so what we do is we say well I'll just do this by let's go into the find dialog, get it back from the window it's got lost in and apply that. Then we'll use the take the snap two edges off. This is fairly clear edges here and we'll just paint this one in manually. Because we just want the people at the edge here, that's all. That'll do. Control naught to get out of here. And what we do now is we're gonna save this. I was just going to check here that I've got everything to the edge of here and you'll see why in just a moment. So here's the selection I've got and what I want to do before I save it I want to take out the bits which are in the lighthouse. So I right click the lighthouse and subtract from pixel selection and there we go. This means the lighthouse will jigsaw nicely with this piece. So now we can right click on this on the pixel selection create spare channel right click on that Rename it to uh, foreground. Now control zero to zoom out again, control D to deselect, and we're now going to select the mountains and the lake. I'm going to use the same principle here. So when we do this, we want the selection brush, snap to edges on. We want to be careful with the top edge. But we don't mind about the bottom or oh, the lighthouse really because we're going to do that by subtraction. Let's just take some of this out here. I'll click down here just to case that decides. As long as it's got the bit in there, that's it. And let's get that rid of that a little bit there. That'll do. And control zero out there. So now we've selected all this, we can, and we won't bother with refine. All we'll do is we'll just take off the snap to edges. We'll open up this, we'll add a whole bunch down the bottom here. So that when we do now a right click on the foreground down here and subtract from pixel selection, there we go. It gives us a perfect edge with that and we'll also do the same for lighthouse. Right click and subtract from that. So now this mid ground here is what we want. Right click on the pixel selection, create spare channel, right click on that and rename that as mid, mid ground. Okay so there we go. So what we're going to do now is a little extra thing where we're going to go select select all so we've got the whole picture selected and so that's why this is all white and we're going to right click on lighthouse and subtract that right click on the foreground and subtract that and right click on mid ground and subtract that so all we've got left is sky and we can just uh, right click the mixer pixel, pixel selection create spare channel right click on that do a rename of that and call it Sky. Oops, SKH. Let's rename that again. Rename to Sky. Okay, so now we can, where is it? Uh, selection, deselect. Because now we've got down here, we've got the selections that we can choose for anything we want. So if we start from our picture here, and we add a curves to this say and let's bring this curves up to the picture here if we brighten this up this brightens the whole picture but if we take the lighthouse here there are selection right click that and say load to curves adjustment alpha it applies it now it effectively creates a mask 
So now only the lighthouse is changing. So we can go, well, let's just brighten that up a bit because we want this to be a dominant object. And then we can click on the background there and add another curves and let's bring this one up. There we go. I'll make this one now the foreground. So right click on the foreground and load to curves adjustment alpha. And now we can do this and this affects the foreground. So we'll just brighten this up. Yeah, should we do a bit of the dark? No, we'll keep it bright because we want to keep those people bright as well. In fact, we'll brighten the darks a little bit more and pull down the lighter area so we just lighten the people and give the rest a little bit of a tint just to match it up with the green the uh, lighthouse then we'll go click on this again we've got to click on the, the pixel layer to make sure that the, we oh, sorry there we go add the curves there and let's bring that one up and this is going to be our mid ground so right click on the mid ground load to curves and we can brighten up that or darken it what we're going to do with that let's, let's do a contrast add the lights a bit and darken the darks a bit so it can still match it in that works and so that's good click on the background again and for this one because it's a sky we'll just add a little bit of gaussian blur because if you've got a noisy sky there we go and we'll control zoom into the sky as far as we can go just a tiny bit of gaussian blur can help the sky get a little bit smoother just a bit don't overdo it there we go and we'll right click the sky here and load that to the gaussian blur and now when we control naught there we go so we now got a way of chopping the picture up making a nicely fitting jigsaw puzzle and allowing us to have a picture that we can edit in parts. So let's go to the history, go back to the beginning, there we were, and there we are, with a nice bit we can colour up as we wish. And you can do all sorts of things on this, just use those masks. So we're adding just masks on here, which is a lot, is a lot less file space than if we'd use layers of duplicate backgrounds. Okay, there we go. So thanks very much for watching and catch you next time.